हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल एंड पढ़ेगा तभी तो बढ़ेगा इंडिया एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ क्वेश्चन पेपर व्हिच इज फ्रॉम अ प्रीवियस ईयर एंड इट्स आई थिंक दिस इज बिलोंग्स फ्रॉम 2018 एंड आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द पोएम यू नो द पोएम पार्ट व्हिच वी गेट आफ्टर द पैसेज सो हियर इज अ पोएम एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस and we will solve the answers you know so let's start so firstly we will uh, we will learn the directions just read once so the direction is uh, read the exact given below and answer the questions that follow question number 100 to 105 by selecting the correct most appropriate appropriate options it means we have to opt the correct or which is most appropriate option so let's read the poem so the poem is great wide beautiful wonderful world with the wonderful water around your curled and the wonderful grass upon your breast world you are beautiful dressed the wonderful air is over me and the wonderful wind is shaking the tree it walks and the on the water and wells the mills and talks to itself on the top of hills you friendly earth how far do you go with the wet fields and nod and the rivers that flow with cities and gardens and cliffs and is isles and people upon you and oh sorry and people upon you for thousands of miles ah you are so great and i am so small i tremble to think of you world at all and yet when i said my prayers today a uh, whisper inside me seemed to say you are more than the earth though you are such a dot you can love and think and the earth cannot so this is all about the poem and here we go for the questions and we have to opt the appropriate or correct answer so we are going to discuss the first question the first question is the cities gardens cliffs and isles so that the earth is okay so we are going to see the answers the first one is huge second one is friendly third one is small and fourth one well populated so the right answer would be friendly which we discussed discussed in the poem so the correct answer would be friendly it means b going to discuss the second question the second question is in the extract the poet has compared what poet had compared so see the options the first option is man with the earth okay and the second one is world with the earth okay and the third one is world with the air and fourth one is the earth with the air all right fine so uh, the answer would be of 100 uh, one question it means the second question which we are discussing today man with the earth the answer would be man with the earth fine so we are going for the uh, next question it means 102 so here we go for the question mood of the speaker in all of these lines is what is the status of mood of a speaker in these lines we have to tell so let's go for the options the first one is serious second one is uh, joyous and third one is sad and fourth one is introspective all right so the right answer would be b joyous it means he is you know explaining explaining he is appreciating the earth the beauty of the earth so the correct answer would be b the th- the uh, next question would be the figure of speech used in the first stanza of the extract is the first option is smile second one is snack dog and third one is onomatopoeia onomatopoeia it 
it's not it's not saying correctly and the fourth one is personification the right answer would be d personification personification so this is the right answer now we are going for the next question it's 104 the figure of speech used in the phrase and wills and mills sorry and wills the mills is so uh, we have to tell the figure of speech we used in the phrase and wills and mill the mills and wills the mills for the first option is smile second one one is this is also you know looking the same but this is not the same so the options are same and the right answer would be d yeah this has also the uh, d d correct answer so in the four, in the you know 103 and 104th question the answer would be d now uh, coming on the next question the question is the beautiful dress worn by the earth is made of okay the option is first option mills and the hills second one is gardens and wet fields and the third one is water and grass fourth is mountains and forests all right so the correct answer would be water and grass because we have discussed in the poem so the correct answer would be c moving towards the next question it's 106 our teacher so it means we have completed the stanza you know see here was a notification uh, here was a instruction question number 100 to 105 it means we have to we have completed the stanza the poem phrase is ended now we are coming on the next question which is from pedagogy so the question is a teacher asks her learners to collect words phrases and various aspects they see and notice in their markets and streets later the learners write the words and phrases according to the category and discuss them in the class what is the what is this practice known as so firstly look the options then i think we will be able to make our answer okay the first option is topic words learning okay and the second one is genre based words third one is achieve vocabulary and the d fourth thematic vocabulary learning very good the d is the correct answer because teacher has told to you know observe and observe the things from market and streets so uh, they will be able to you know classify the things so the right answer would be thematic vocabulary learning now we are coming on the next question it's 107 the question is what does silil stands for c l i l so let's see it the first uh, the first one is content language interlearning and the second one is content and language based interesting learning and the third one is content and language integrated learning and the fourth one is context for language integrated learning so the right answer would be c it's content and language integrated learning is the right answer now we are coming on the next question the question is 108 let's see the question which of the following statements is correct all right so see the just a moment all right which of the following statements is correct so we have to you know of the correct answer now let's see the options the first one is receptive vocabulary are words we speak and productive vocabulary are words be here okay and the second one is receptive vocabulary are words be recognized when be here or see and productive vocabulary are words we speak or write okay the third answer would be the third option would be receptive vocabulary are words be uh, discussed with people and productive vocabulary are words in written texts yeah i think the 
राइट आंसर वुड बी बी ओनली यानी इट मीन्स रिसिप्टिव वोकेबलरी आर वर्ड्स बी रिकोगनाइज वेन वी हेयर और सी एंड प्रोडक्टिव वोकेबलरी आर वर्ड्स वी स्पीक और राइट यू नो इफ वी आर लर्निंग द स्किल्स फोर स्किल्स एल एस आर डब्ल्यू सो हेयर वी यू नो वी नो वी स्पीक एंड राइट दिज आर द प्रोडक्टिव लैंग्वेज स्पीकिंग एंड राइटिंग इज द प्रोडक्टिव लैंग्वेज एंड एल आर इट मीन्स लिसनिंग एंड रीडिंग दिज बोध आर द रिसिप्टिव सो द राइट एंसर वुड बी 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 वुड बी द राइट एंसर नाउ कमिंग फॉर द फर्दर क्वेश्चन द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वुड बी वन जीरो नाइन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज आर टीचर डिवाइड्स हर क्लास इन टू ग्रुप्स ऑफ फोर एंड रीड्स आउट द टेक्स्ट ऑफ अबाउट सिक्स सेंटेंसेस लर्नर्स लिसन टू एंड लिसन टू एंड जॉट डाउन इम्पॉर्टेंट आई थिंक इट्स नोट डाउन इट शुड बी नोट डाउन एंड नोट डाउन इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स एंड फ्रेजेस द टीचर रीड्स आउट द टेक्स्ट द सेकेंड टाइम द लर्नर्स डिस्कस इन ग्रुप्स एंड जॉटेड जॉटेड डाउन वर्ड्स एंड रिक्रिएट द टेक्स्ट रिक्रिएट द टेक्स्ट लर्नर्स टू द वन रीड आउट बाय द टीचर वट इज द टास्क नन एज ऑल राइट सो हेयर हेयर इज द फोर ऑप्शन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन वुड बी कंपोजिशन डिक्टेशन ओके सेकेंड वन इज मैनुअल डिक्टेशन एंड थर्ड वन इज पंक्चुएशन डिक्टेशन एंड द फोर्थ वन इज रियल डिक्टेशन so the right answer would be b it means it's mutual sorry i'm sorry it's mutual i think it is not uh, you know clear it's mutual all right it's mutual so the right answer would be b so uh, let's see the next question the next question is intensive reading refers to all right the uh, options are reading a text for detailed information and the second one is reading a text for pleasure and third one is, third one is reading a text for editing and the fourth one is reading a text for someone else intensive reading okay intensive reading means reading a text for detailed information we want detail so we are reading the text so the uh, right answer would be a now coming for the next question which is 111 okay i'm sorry guys but i'm doing a uh, for you because it will be clear to you so the uh, next question would be uh, knowing a word means okay how where and when it is used and the second option is how the word is spelled and the third one is who speaks the word and to know to write the word okay so the right answer would be knowing a word means how where and how how where and when it is used obviously if we are you know learning the new words then we should know where and how we can use this word so the right answer would be a now coming on the second uh, now now coming on the next question the question is which typology of question does the following questions belong to the first one i the further question is imagine you are okay we have to imagine now imagine you are the narrator of the story okay write an entry in your diary about your experience in about 100 words okay so now we have to select the correct answer it's informative question it's inferential question it's closed question and fourth one is extrapolative question extrapolative okay so the right answer would be extrapolative the right answer would be extrapolative okay which type typology yeah the right answer uh, would be d 
coming on the next question poetry teaching is why be uh, uh, why a teacher teach poetry so the option is uh, to learn words and uh, phrases to learn uh, poetry devices and the third option is uh, for enjoy for enjoyment and appreciating you no know? and the uh, fourth one is to write a critical commentary so the right answer would be second and fourth but uh, the most appropriate the most appropriate is b so the right answer would be b but we can also take d they both would be right now we are going on the uh, 14th question learning outcomes aim at output oriented learning second one is achieving maximum levels of learning third one is achieving minimum levels of learning and the fourth one is ensuring all all of ensuring all the competencies are acquired by learners all right so the right answer would be d ensuring all the competencies are acquired by the learners coming on the next question a teacher uh, brings a newspaper to her class of four, uh, eighth students a teacher brings a newspaper to her class eighth student and asks them to find some advertisements she then asks them to list out how advertisements are designed and what an advertisement con uh, contains what is the uh, newspaper here okay it's for reading an instrument of language learning and the c is a technique of learning all right and the fourth one is material for language learning yeah the right answer would be d because this is our material for language learning it's very helpful and teacher is using it coming on the next question the national question is ncf national curriculum framework 2005 assign sub supplementary and uh, complementary roles to english language this means that english language teaching should support learning of other languages and subjects and the second one is english language teaching has nothing okay to do with teaching learning of other languages english language teaching is a hindrance to learning of other languages and the fourth fourth option is english language teaching a uh, violates of mother tongue based language education so the right answer would be a how because english language teaching should support a uh, learning of other language and subjects obviously we can also uh, learn english so, sorry science mathematics social studies through the help of english so the right answer would be a coming on the next question a reader uh, uses her uh, prior knowledge makes uh, semantic uh, cues and uh, and a uh, synthetic uh, cues uh, then moves to other more specific information what models of reading the reader here adopts first option is bottom up model and the second option is top down model and the third option is interactive model and fourth one is whole language model so the right answer would be b because the learner is adopting top bottom bottom sorry top down model so this is the right answer <coughs> now the next question is drilling we have heard this word drilling drill drilling is a teaching uh, learning technique or a strategy in constructivist language teaching okay structuralism communicating learning teaching and uh, the fourth fourth is lexical approach so the right answer would be a constructivist uh, constructivist constructivist language teaching so the right uh, right answer would be a now coming on the uh, next question which of the following statements is true of language learning all right the first option is first language in, uh, interferes in the learning of second language and the second option is first language supports the learning of second language and the third answer is language learning has nothing to do with content learning and the fourth option is every language is different and 
learning of language is also discrete no the right answer would be b because first language supports the learning of second language you know uh, we make base of first language then we can learn any other language and the last question of today but not least multi lingual multi lingualism as a resource in education aims at making use of languages of learners for teaching learning and the second one is making learners learn as many languages as possible and the third one is using classical languages for teaching learning and the fourth one is enabling to learn english language for jobs and mother tongue for culture okay so the right answer would be multilingualism it means multi language and multilingualism as a resource in education aims at making learners learn as many languages as possible so the right answer would be b so guys this is all about today and we have done almost 20 or 21 questions and if you like the video please support us and i'm sorry i think there there were some mistakes which i did but i'm also learning with you guys but hope so you like the video and if you like please subscribe our channel and support us and if you want to share the video then obviously other person can also learn something then if possible please do it thank you so much guys have a nice day